Hello, it's Brent Shard Leverage and Lean back again with another macro video. In this video, I want to show you an Excel macro that will update multiple workbooks from one. Let's see it in action. All right, let me show you this macro by navigating to Excel and I'm going to head up to the custom macros tab and the custom button I have to run the update multiple workbooks from one. Now before I run this macro, I want to explain exactly what it's going to do when it runs. When it runs, it's going to loop through every single worksheet in the active workbook and then reference the workbook mapping. In this video, I have the worksheets mapped to these workbooks here. You can really map to anything as long as it's an Excel workbook. If there is no mapping set, I do have a fall through where I'm going to look in the folder of the active workbook and then try to identify a workbook with the same name as the worksheet I'm trying to map. I put this in here so you didn't have to update the VBA code. You could simply put in workbooks the same name as the worksheets and that mapping will happen automatically. Now, if you've noticed, there is no sheet five. So what happens is there, there's no mapping that has identified a message box will appear. Another thing that I haven't shown you yet is I put in additional mapping. So once we've identified the workbook to update, I also want to identify the worksheet within that workbook to update. By default, I just put in the number one for that mapping. So the first worksheet is going to be updated, but you can simply update that to instead update the second worksheet or potentially the third so on and so forth you just need to indicate the mapping with the appropriate worksheet number all right so let me run this macro and then you can see these workbooks update with all the information you can see from this workbook so you can see once this macro runs it's going to loop through and then start updating workbooks i did mention before that i put no mapping in on purpose on sheet five so you could see this message box appear if you fail to put in the worksheet mapping, you do get notified that nothing is going to be updated. And then once this macro is done, you get a nice message box saying that the mapped workbooks have been updated. So let me show you them. You can see this is sheet three and I updated this number here. And this also impacts the formulas that are referencing it as well and here is sheet two where i updated the second worksheet of this workbook and then finally sheet one where only one worksheet exists and i just updated that sheet here now i also mentioned that if there isn't any mapping i will attempt to find a workbook and that is sheet four here and you can see that it matches the exact contents of the active workbook. All right, well, I absolutely want to know what you think of this new Excel macro, update multiple workbooks from one. This macro is great if you're attempting to have one source of data that is managed maybe by one individual, but then you can distribute that information across multiple parties to different workbooks. It may take some getting used to, but do not hesitate to contact me, Brent Schneider at leveragelane.com. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro seeing the video, I have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels. And as always, stay awesome.